Here we are. We're arriving a bit late, but I thought that it would be better to push ahead and keep riding instead of camping for the night. Especially with those giants that we kept running into on the road. All right, Bera, you be good, girl. Come on, Anamla. Well, it's too late to visit anyone tonight, so I guess we'll stay in the inn and then we can get to business in the morning. I'm thinking that first things first, I want to visit the Priestess of Arcae here in the city. It's one of the things that I meant to do down in Riften. I guess that's the thing I was forgetting, though. To be honest, I'm not sure if that priestess is the first person I would go to to consult with. Especially for delicate, complicated questions like the sort that I have. I think I need somebody with a little more experience and possibly a little more devotion to Lord their calling. Has been wrecked since her sister was killed. Good evening. You got some, got nice some fresh upset. baked bread and good Makes cheese if you're after a bite to lunch. eat. Actually, all I really want right now is a room for the night. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks, Elda. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Speak. Ah, uh, is it the same one that you rented to me last time I was here in the city? Legend we all know and love. Oh, looks like it is. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. Let me know if there's anything else you, you need. I tell you oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. With a voice Come on, Garm. Power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, uh, Garm. Comes. Why don't you go sit over there and let the lady through? <laughs> Good boy. Alright. Um, Anamla, why don't you go ahead and just relax for the evening? Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be very good company. So, well, it looks like you've gotten a room of your own. But if you want to hang out upstairs, get a drink, relax a bit, feel free and don't worry about me. We'll drive so I think I'm just going to have a quick night. bite to eat. Nothing too heavy. Hmm. Maybe some grilled chicken breast. And... You know what? I think I'd like to have a little bit of mead to go with that. Just a little, though. With our blood and our steel, we will take back and with that, I'm just going to get a good night's sleep. It's good to be out of that armor, finally. It feels like I've been wearing it for ages. Though, I don't think I should be wearing anything as fancy as the clothes I was wearing up in solitude. Hmm. Today, first thing, we're going to go and talk to the priestess at the Hall of the Dead. Hopefully she'll have some words of wisdom for me. I don't know... I don't know for sure whether or not Mother still lives. And because of that, I'm not sure if I should be making the traditional offerings to the divines. Because if she is... If she is dead, then 
The gods might take offense if I neglect them, and if I neglect giving the offerings. On the other hand, if I make the offerings and they're not yet needed, that might well be tempting fate. Hopefully the priestess here will have some idea of the proper course. But the only way to find out is to go and have a word with her. So let's go down and do that. <sighs> Anamla, thank you for coming with me all this way. You didn't have to. It's good to have someone nearby who... who I feel I can trust. Especially with everything that's going on right now. Mm. Alright, so I think the Hall of the Dead was, um... somewhere down here, wasn't it? Uh, there's the... What's going on here? There's the priestess, but... Hold it there. Keep your distance. What happened here? Aren't the dead supposed to be buried in this graveyard and not lying out on the stone? Another girl killed. This is Susanna. From Candleheart's Hall. Susanna? She served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Susanna. I... I think I remember her a little bit. But... What happened to her? Same as the others. Looks like she was stabbed and then cut apart. God. It's like an animal got to her, but these are the wounds of a blade. She was attacked? But you mentioned others. Are you saying that this has happened before? Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl killed at night, body torn up. And I assume that the murders are being investigated. We're stretched thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Hmm. You know... I've had some experience with investigations in the past. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Right. So, we've got the priestess and these two citizens. Good morning. Always sad when someone has to die. Yes, it is. I don't suppose you saw what happened here. Sorry, I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. Damn. And... What about you? Another one. Terrible. Did you happen to see what happened here? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already... like this when I got here. I see. God, whoever did this really did a number on her. I ask only for a little charity. <sighs> Excuse me, priestess. This is a shame. It is. Do you know anything about what happened? Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Of course, of course. Well... Heard they're informing the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something, in the old fort near Riften. 
Might consider joining up myself. Honestly, I think you'd be better to stay here. It seems like the city needs you, especially if there are murderers running about on the loose. But I've spoken with the witnesses, and it doesn't seem like anybody knows anything. Just like always, nobody saw anything useful. The bastards escaped again. Don't say that too quickly. There has to be more to this, if you'll allow me to look into it. Look, friend. If you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You'll need to talk to the steward, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be an official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. Well, if, as you say, the Legion of Guards is stretched thin dealing with the war, then perhaps you need somebody who isn't yet committed to other things. Come on, Anamla. Listen, we're going to go talk to the steward and see if, see if he'll allow us to look into these murders. Which may serve a dual purpose. Show Ulfric that I can be an asset to him. Will you spare a few coins to help someone who's got nothing? Besides that, it seems like I might be the sort of person that this murderer is targeting. A young woman in the city. Either way, this is something that we can't just let go. Um. Just we'd better go fetch Garm. He was still sleeping when I got up this morning, but we may need his nose. So, Garm first, then the steward. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone. Garm? Oh good, you're awake. Come on, let's go. We'll drive out the empire from this land that we You own. are gonna follow me, right? Come on, boy. Good, you're both with me. Hmm. I vaguely remember talking with the steward briefly last time I was here. He seemed a reasonable sort of person. And it seems that Alfred and Galmar are still talking about Whiterun. If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. Well, they all know that. How long I won't disturb them. You think I need to send My office. business right now is with the steward. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gun. Though I will have to meet with Ulfric before too long. Good morning. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. So, you must be a sensible sort of man. I've been hearing about these murders that have been taking place. The most recent of them being Susanna from Candlehearth Hall. These are difficult times indeed, when men stalk their brethren like beasts. My men are stretched thin as it is. If you offer your aid, I gladly accept. The guards will be told to assist you as necessary. I'm happy to lend a hand as much as I can as well. Thank you. I'm glad to help in this. Hopefully, working together, we can put a stop to this. Let's go. We'll go and talk to the guard again. And see if we can find any sort of evidence. 
at the place where the girl was found. Perhaps the priestess will have some ideas as well. Oh, it looks like she took her in already. Well, I've had a word with the steward. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kynesgrove this time. Uh, yes, I have, in fact, heard about that. More than heard, actually. But that's not important right now. What matters is that your leaf has granted me permission to aid in this investigation. All right, then. I noticed the trail of blood leading away from here. Helgard's taken the body into the Hall of the Dead to prepare for burial. She's a little crazy, but if she knows anything, it's dead bodies. All right. Well, should I talk to Helgard first, or should I follow the blood? I have the feeling it might be better to see where this trail leads first. Just in case any of it gets swept away. Alright. So you've got it here. Garm, this might be a good time for you to use that nose of yours. Uh, it must be this way. Yeah, there's more. Up here. Tell us. Did you see what happened? Were you watching? Ah. And here's where it leads. And it's locked. Well, I could try and see if I am skilled enough to open this. Oh, that was close. So it's just around here. Nope. Uh, maybe a little further? Oh, no. That'd be very delicate. Ah! My hands were made for the loot. Not for lock picking. Aha. Okay, let's be careful. Whoever did this may still be in here. I need some light. So, this is your home, huh? It's a fine place to live. What, you think that the murderer's still in here? <sighs> it's a possibility. If you're in here, come out. Face me. You check over that way, okay? Garm, do you smell anything? Or anyone? Okay, let's check upstairs first, and then we can look more closely. No one? Looks like there's one more room. No one here. I'm almost disappointed. This would have been easier if we had just caught somebody. Well, let's take a closer look around. Garm, let me know if you smell anything. It looks like this place has been abandoned for a while. Hmm. 
Hmm. Is somebody trying to reach something up there? I don't see what it could be. Just some clothes. A bit of old furniture. Somebody was drinking in here. But this is old. Not even any books left. Maybe those wardrobes had something. Some bits of old paper. Hmm. Beware the butcher, the killer who haunts the streets of Windhelm. These calamitous times bring out the worst in people. Don't become the next victim. See Viola Giordano if you spot any suspicious behavior. Viola Giordano. Perhaps we should have a word with her. See if she's noticed anything. What's that? Let's take a look. Hmm. That's ominous looking. No inscription or anything on the back. That would have been convenient. We'll have to show that to the steward. Anything in here? Nothing useful. Wait a second. This? Oh, look. Take a look at this, Anamla. Does this look familiar to you? I feel like I've seen a wardrobe like this before. Be ready. Oh, God. Well, it looks like we've definitely found something. These... These parts come from more than a few bodies. This smells like necromancy to me. A journal? We'll have to take a closer look at that. And these tools. We should probably take these, wrap them up in linen. I think we found the evidence that we were looking for. No butcher, but definitely his handiwork. Maybe we should take more of these flyers, too. It looks like he's been collecting them.
Yes, these are all the same. Jordana's? I mean, Viola's been handing them out. And he has been taking them back. Alright. Let's go talk to the priestess. And then we're going to go find Viola Giordano and have a word with her. See what she knows, because it's pretty obvious that this butcher considers her a threat. Oh, and maybe we'd better take a closer look at that journal, too. Seventeen tendons and assorted ligaments. One hundred and seventy-three fragments of bone for assemblage. Approximately four buckets full of blood. Nord preferred. Six spoons of marrow. No more than two from a thigh. Twelve yards of flesh before cutting. Who in their right mind measures flesh in yards? Stars scrying to the edge of the ice mind, look to the lights where the souls dance, revealing the time when a spark will revive, when the no rotted unites under most skilled hands. Translation from Aldmer text, as interpreted by the Aliads and first transcribed by Aldmer. Provenance and authority unknown. Soon. Nope, that's not ominous at all. Let's see if we can find the priestess. I think... If I remember from the last time I visited here... Those are her living quarters. And the Hall of the Death proper is down here. This way? Ah. Yes. Okay, grant you rest. And Talos, grant you vengeance. Large diagonal cut from left shoulder. Sister Helgard. Um, I've been authorized by the Jarl Steward to assist in this investigation. I was wondering, have you noticed anything strange about the body? Any evidence that we can use? Well, she's dead. But I guess that's not unusual, at least not for somebody in here. I mean, someone who's not me, that is. Right. So, was only joking with you. No, that's all right. I'm honestly used to that sort of humor. I spent a lot of time with the priest of Arcae when I was younger. But seriously, have you found anything? Not really. The only unusual thing is the shape of the cuts. Is that so? They look like they were made with. Well, the ancient Nords used these kinds of curved blades when they embalmed their dead. I don't know who in Windhelm would even have something like that. <laughs> Other than me, of course. Hmm. Is it something like these tools that I found? Right. Well, let me know if you find anything else. I wouldn't hold out too much hope. Now, I really got to get back to the body. A lot of work to prepare her for the grave. Of course, of course. <sighs> okay. Please guide me in finding this necromancer. This person who defies the proper order of things. 
to strike down those who are not, who have not yet reached their time to die. Apparently, in the hopes of turning them to some twisted purpose. I think now might be a good time to return to the steward and let him know what we found. It's not much, but he may have an idea of where we should look next. Perhaps he'll know something about this amulet or about who would have these kinds of tools. I hope we have enough evidence to actually find something out that's useful that will actually lead to this killer. And where? Ah, oh, there he is. Eating his lunch, I suppose. Now would be a good time for it, but... I think I don't have much of an appetite right now. Excuse me, Steward. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Mm. Can you tell me anything about this butcher? I hear some of the citizens have given him a name. Ugh. Have you been talking to Viola Giordano? She posts those all over the city, and someone keeps taking them down. Ask her about it if you want an earful. I think I will. In addition to that, does this amulet look familiar to you? Do you know anything about who it might belong to? I've never seen anything like it. I would take this to Calixto at the House of Curiosities. He has a good eye for strange trinkets. Might even give you a bit of gold for it. Thank you. I'll report back to you if I learn anything else. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. Hmm. But people are still waiting. So, Viola and Calixto. Two more people for us to speak with. At least it seems like we're getting somewhere.